time is of essence because I don't have too much available. I yesterday landed in Romania and now in the middle of the night I'm back on my way to the airport to fly from Bucharest to, to Barcelona. I made it to the airport still in the middle of the night, now heading to security and then passport control. Cala del Moli is unique on its nature. The Via Ferrata going mostly on the horizontal. They say it is a level D on the second half of, uh, of it. We will see when I will get there. I don't expect any special challenge, but we will see. Unfortunately, in the past, there have been some incidents, all of them because of human error. I'm now curious to go and see or try to guess how that was possible. Overall, from what I checked, promises to be an amazing Via Ferrata. We will see about it. Let me repeat myself, it is up to level D going mostly on uh, the horizontal. I'm on a quieter area of the airport. I already checked my, uh, my gate one hour, one hour until boarding, so I will have to find something to, to do. I have to always pass security so early because many times it happens that I have to explain the gear I carry with me and at times you also have to to debate on why I should be allowed to, to have it on with me on board. Cala del Moli is not a via ferrata that will introduce you to impressive drops. It mostly goes on the horizontal compared to the tourist trap via ferrata in Switzerland for example where they practically are designed the same way. They have longer bridges and the impressive drops, but otherwise um, almost identical. What makes Cala del Moli, at least in my view now, before getting there for my first time, what makes it to me interesting and attractive is the appearance of an exotic Via Ferrata. It is on the cliff edge with um, the sea and I expect an immersive experience. I love uh, water, I love the sea, I love the ocean, rivers, I love water. And this, it is unique in its kind in, um, in Europe. So yes, I'm enthusiastic about it. Hopefully it will prove to be what I'm hunching it is, that is an exotic Via Ferrata worth going and climbing for the immersive experience and not anything else. It should not be difficult, it should mostly go on the horizontal and um, with an easy approach, easy exit, it is straightforward. I just landed in Barcelona and as you can see nothing happens here. The day is yet to, to start. So now I have to figure out my way there, but I guess I'll have plus minus one hour and a half wait before my coach arrives. I hopped on the coach from uh, Terminal 2 of uh, El Prat Airport in Barcelona and it appears it is a straight line to Cala del Moli. I'm almost there. They are correct. It takes around 30 minutes. It is a bit windy. This is a bummer. I, I checked all over internet and I wasn't able to find the news. It appears the second half, the hardest of this Via Ferrata is closed. Do you see? that seagull where is the seagull there can you see that tree down there is is a seagull nest 
and this here let me let me show you this here is the exit from one of the exits from the via ferrata and this one here is the beginning of the via ferrata a bit higher but this is the beginning this is the first half of Cala del Moli via ferrata that is open then on the other side of a cliff you have a second half of it that is closed this via ferrata should be completely closed at this time of the year because the seagulls build nests so this via ferrata at this time of the year should be closed completely and of course properly advertised on internet it isn't it's not closed fully they only closed the second half of it and makes absolutely no sense because I see seagulls everywhere and I see them building nests and this is what I name double standard you should not close half of it saying it is to protect the nature when in reality me me being here right now disturbs the ecosystem they kept open the, the first half why because they are pretending to help the seagulls while at the same time they are not saying it but they are trying to help also the um, local guides the guides who take people down and up this via ferrata it is a disappointment because well it is a disappointment but it is what it is so i will try to make the most out of uh, out of it i i dislike not being properly informed they they should have done a good job at announcing this closure because most probably i would have delayed the, the trip it is what it is i cannot change it now so let's not complain about it good so i'm going on the via ferrata I'm at Cala del Moli Via Ferrata. It is my second day here. What I want to show you is, you see that sign there? It says, take the right. And it's not obvious. When, when you'll come here, the start of the Via Ferrata is not obvious. Let me, let me show you how it works. You are coming from there. Definitely you'll come from there. And you'll have a tendency, coming from there, to go I will point with my finger. This will be your tendency to go straight down here. But if you keep going straight down here, you see you have a no enter sign there. There, that one. You have a no enter sign. That sign says that one is the exit of a Via Ferrata. This sign here says take the right so you see let me, you see so you go straight there and then here to the right you have a less obvious path that goes up like that and there is the, the start of a you see the panel I don't know if it's it. so here here is the beginning of the Via Ferrata. You see, it is there. This is what I wanted to show you.
This was it. I was able to find some shadow and close this journey here. When it comes to Cala del Moli, I am disappointed. I didn't expect it what happened and I will say it back again. But this time of a year, they should have it closed. Not opened, not half opened, closed. Because it disturbs the ecosystem. I'm sad for them. I'm sad that it doesn't happen for the, the seagulls. And overall, I'm disappointed because they should just do it. They should put it up there on the internet and say it out loud. We are close, we'll reopen when the seagulls will complete their reproductive cycle. It is what it is. I cannot change it for them. They have the power to, to do it. Overall, the Via Ferrata is, as I, was, as I was expecting in the beginning, exotic and it is worth the effort. Moreover, when you go there, you have this option of the amazing hike on the cliff edges of Spain. Something that can become part of your city break to, to Spain, of course, Barcelona. And by the way, let me, let me tell you something. This here is a masterpiece. It has now, what, 140 years maybe? I guess it is 140 years since it started to, to be built. And year after year, each time I'm coming, I see new elements added to it. And unfortunately, and this happens all over the, the world, this is the only green place surrounding or close to Sagrada Familia, unfortunately. It started in 1880-something, uh, I think it is 1882. It started to be built then, and I'm confident all these buildings here didn't exist. A huge architectural or urbanistic error, because this place, in my opinion, should be surrounded by trees and green area. It doesn't... It is why you mostly see on, on internet only pictures from this side because you have this small, extremely small park here and that's it. Otherwise it is surrounded by, by buildings to people. It is practically impossible to, to see from the side. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Cala del Moli, it is a good Via Ferrata. They do it wrong, but the Via Ferrata itself, it is worth doing. Even if you are a beginner and even if you'll do only the, the first half of it, it is still challenging. It has at least three interesting segments. One of them, it is a clear overhanging. It will put you in, in difficulty and it will straight up your arms. You, you'll feel it and will give you that emotion, that, that fear that in case you release your grip, you'll fall. Have fun. Hopefully you'll do it. I did it. I, I, I don't regret it. I'm disappointed of what happens because I was there disturbing the ecosystem. They should put it there. They should close this Via Ferrata all together for whatever, three, four, four months of a year and allow the ecosystem to, to do its part because we are living in this ecosystem. We are part of it and most of the times we are destroying it. We did the same thing here with Sagrada Familia. It is an, an amazing architectural uh, creation, but then Look behind. Buildings all over the place. Only buildings. Impossible to, to see it the right way.